This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome my viewers. Today in this video, we will learn how to create a program that should accept obtain marks of a student in an examination it should then calculate percentage and grade to the student the grade should be assigned to the following criteria so for that we will insert a table like this and then we'll type percentage and grade If the percentage is greater than or equal to 80, then the grade will become A1. If the percentage is greater than or equal to 70, but lesser than 80, the grade will become A. If the percentage is greater than or equal to 60 but lesser than 70 the grade will become B the percentage is greater than or equal to 50 but lesser than 60 the grade will become C if the percentage is greater than or equal to 40 but lesser than 50 the grade will become D if the percentage is lesser than 40 then the grade will become F so this is the criteria which will be followed to evaluate the grade of the students depending upon the percentage so let's create a program for it and we will switch to the IDE or GW basic. So here we are viewers we will line at line number 10 input roll number and we put double quotes comma roll is the name of the variable line number 20 will type input name One double quotes, comma, any dollar. Line number thirty will type input class, column, double quotes, comma, CL dollar, name of the string variables for name and class, whereas integer variable for the roll number. Line number 40, we will type input obtain marks, column double quotes, comma, who marks number 50, we will type T underscore marks, which is used for the total marks, and it is equal to 8. 50 and line number 60 we will type percentage for percentage calculation we will use the PER variable integer variable again 
and then we will divide O marks divided by O marks is used to for the obtained marks. So it's also a variable divided by total marks. We have already assigned 852 total marks divided by multiplied by 100. So this is the whole formula calculation will be first calculated. Then O mass will be divided by T mass multiplied with 100 and then it will store to PER variable which is used for the percentage. Line number 70. We will use the if condition if percentages rather than are equal to 80. Then print grade is A1. Likewise, at line number 80, we will type F. But we are following the same criteria we are just discussing in the table. If percentage is greater than or equal to 70, and percentage is lesser than or equal to 80, then print grade is a line number 90 we will type if percentage is greater than or equal to 60 and percentage is less than or equal to 70 then print grade is b Line number 100 if percentage is greater than or equal to 50 and percentage is less than or equal to 60 then print is C line number 110 if percentage is greater than or equal to 40 and percentage is less than or equal to 50 we will zero will use only lesser than sign like eighty. No need to type less than or equal to, but we will only type lesser than. Then print grade is A. So in the end, then print grade is D the end 120 line number if percentage is less than 40 then print grade is F line number 130 and the end we'll type E and the end to end the program we'll press F4 key and type the name of the program name is percentage we'll type grading dot bs name of the program loaded press f3 key and type grading dot bs and then press f2 key problem is one two one six name is john class is 10 train mars is 750 okay there's a syntax error in line number 50 we have used total marks is equal to 850 we're going to change the name of the variable at uh, line number 50 and 60 and just remove the underscore. So we'll type edit 50 and then we'll remove this. And then at line number 60, we will remove the underscore from both lines 50 and 60 and then. Now we press the list. Now you can see there's a change. The names of the variables T mouse, T mouse. Now I'm going to say we press the F4 key and type grading dot BAS. F3 key to load this program, type grading dot BAS again. Press F2 key. Now we press the enter the roll number name John class 10. The score is 730. So the grade is A1. 
So if we again run this program and type one two two five roll numbers name is Shaw class is nine and after mars is like six ninety then we go it is again a one like if we again run this program and type the roll number three two two four nine name is Alicia and class is nine train mars is five fifty six then the grade is B so we can see that our program is working absolutely fine now I'm going to explain it this program to you guys Whereas now I'm going to explain this program line by line so we'll first list this program so you can see that on line number 10 we have used the input statement which is used to take the input from the user whole number this portion is enclosed in double codes so this is will be displayed as it is on the screen like I have run this program and now we can see the roll number as it is on the screen because it is enclosed in the double codes and this roll is in used to is you know this rule is used as an as an integer variable used to take the value of the roll numbers by just giving the value of like three two to six eight number is a roll number and press the enter key now this name is uh, this is SQL structure so keep it in your mind that this is now for number nine number ten executed now line number twenty is executed as soon as I give the value of the roll number and press the enter key now it asks for the name and this name portion of the goals enclosed is mentioned on the screen now there is a string variable which is used to take the string variable which is used to give the characters input so I'm gonna type name like bird name of the student press the enter key now it asks for the class again sql structure will be followed and in line number 30 you can see the class closing double quotes is mentioned on the screen dot 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 till double code double string tells caller and this this yellow dollar is used to take the name of the class like i'm gonna give 10 c is the name of the class section c and 10 is the name of the class Sent to the out to ask for the obtain mask again. The sequence structure is followed, and I have to line execution line number 10, 20, 30. Now, line number 40 is executed, and it asks to take the value of the obtain mask again. It's an integer value which is used to give the value of integer. So, I'm going to give seven, I'm going to give um, four, 475 less marks to the students, and then I press the enter. Now it gives us the grade is C. The hour is calculated. Let's first see line number 50. The 850 is the total mass which is stored to the T mass variable. So right hand side value is always sent to the left hand side variable. So this value is now stored in T mass. And now this whole formula O mass divided by total mass. O mass is used to uh, represent obtained mass. Obtained mass by the total mass multiplied by 100. This whole formula will be first calculated and then this inside formula after the calculation will be stored to the left hand side variable per integer variable so you can see that whenever we use the integer variable we don't need to give the dollar sign with it by default so the whole formula will be first calculated and then the whole value will be stored to the percentage so if we have used if condition if statement at line number 70 so here the if will check whether the percentage is greater than say or equal to 80 or not so the first percentage will be given if we have given the value 475 475 divided by the 850 and then multiplied by 100 and this formula will be stored in this and here you can see the trade is c so this condition is executed this line 100 because we have first calculated 475 divided by 850 so the value becomes here that the percentage is greater than or equal to 50 and rather than or equal to 60 the both these conditions are met together and then the grade is c is displayed on the screen so we'll discuss the execution line by line if the value of the percentage is greater than or equal to 80 then if this condition becomes false then grade is a1 this message will be displayed on the screen but if the percentage is greater than or equal to 70 and the percentage is less than or equal to 80 if both these conditions become true 
then grade is a will be displayed on the screen likewise if percentage is greater than or equal to 60 and percentage is lesser than or equal to 70 if both these conditions must meet together like both these conditions become true then grade is b message will be displayed on the screen like if i'm going to give a percent is less than 40 then print grade is f i'm going to run this program pressing f2 key now give the three four four five roll number name um it's tyrus and class is nine and the trade marks is like uh three seventy thirty seven very, very less number so the grade is f message is on the, on the screen because the presentation is less than 40. so this is the whole execution of the program i've discussed with you guys line by line how the program is executed and i'm gonna uh, type it and will explain to you guys how this program is executed for your better understanding let's see so i'm gonna explain this program line by line we'll use a line line number two input statement is used to take input from the user and the value of roll number will be stored in variable named row likewise line number 20 input statement is used to take the input from the user and the value of name student name will be stored in the variable named and then dollar like this at line number 30 again input statement is used to take the input from the user and the value of the class will be stored in the variable name CL dollar likewise at line number 40 position is used to take from the user and the value of obtain mark will be stored Be stored in variable name O marks. In line number 50, value of 850 will be stored in the variable named T marks according to the assignment operator rule that is right hand side value is always assigned to the left hand side variable right Likewise, at line number 60, formula O marks divided by T marks. 200 will be first calculated and then calculated value will be then stored to the 
variable named PER used to represent percentage of the student by following again the assignment operator rule that is RHS always assigned to assign and stored to LHS at line number 70, 80, 90, 70 till 120, 70, 80 up to 120 if statement is used to check whether the percentage of the student meet the given criteria on the basis of which students grade is calculated and displayed on the output screen accordingly. So I hope that this whole program execution is interpretation is quite easy to understand and helpful for you to learn the concept how this program is executed and you can see the output as well below we have given the roll number name class train marks and the required grade is displayed on the screen depending upon the formula calculation of the percentage so that's all and thanks for watching my video